I don't even like use Facebook. I like have it for like communication purposes, but shit the people you might know things started popping up on facebook and some fucking broad i went to high school with is on there and for whatever reason fucking hated me i didn't even know her <laughs> they didn't even talk to her for like a year she was harassing me you know what i think it was because i one of her friends had a crush on me and i didn't like one of her friends actually that's why she didn't like me now that i look back but she fuck. She had no right to fucking hate me the way she did. I had no issue. I didn't talk to her. I didn't have classes with her. And I just saw her Facebook, and I'm like, oh, the girl is beat. Wait, so how did you know that she hated you? Like, she would fucking tell me every her. single day. She'd be like, oh, you're a fucking piece of shit. Like, <laughs> just like write shit on my. I kind of wish I had my old Facebook. Honestly, I wish. I don't remember the fucking account to it or whatever. <laughs> like, I mean, I'm sure it's out there. I'm sure it'll resurface one day, but um. She would just always, like, talk shit on my stuff and, you know, just, just one of those, like, a real hater, dude. Get, try to get, <clears throat> try, <clears throat> goddamn, try to get kids to jump me. I didn't even have any, I don't remember ever having a class with her at all. We were just both, like, characters or whatever in school, so, like, we knew each other, but. Wait, uh, wait what do you mean, like, you, like, got, you, like, got superlatives in the yearbook, kind of like, oh, you were, like, in the crowd? I, I did do that. Yeah, I did. Yeah, get, what, what, I what did. Was, what Life was of the party, you? baby. Life of the fucking party. <laughs> Out of, like, 500 kids, baby. Life of the party. But I was a lot more hyperactive. And But anyways, besides, yeah, fucking broad hated me, dude. And I just saw her Facebook a second ago. And, yeah, I mean, you know what? I hope she's doing good. You know what I mean? Because we were like 15 at the time. But I, I'm not going to lie. When I looked at her Facebook picture, like initially, I, I was in the mind state I was in like 2009 where I'm like, <laughs> fuck her, dude. Like this bitch off my shit should, should just hate on me and all my friends. I remember like the classmates from high. Like we talked about. Was it? Mm -hmm. I think we talked about the mm -hmm. character. Like that's people that you remember 10 years after that like. They don't even remember that you remember them from 10 years ago. Yeah. But like. She'd remember me. Yeah? Yeah, yeah well, definitely. Do you think... Probably the same way I remember her. I'd be like, it was just like on site for whatever reason. I feel like I know the answer to this, but like, did you, if, did your school have a high school reunion that um, people went to? Yeah, I, I never went to it, but yeah, my school has high school reunions. Yeah, I feel like they all do it. Like, there's different levels to this. I feel like there's ones where people are like, they're posting that those fucking TikToks were like, oh, look at us 10 years ago. Look at us now. This girl wasn't even in my grade. That's the other crazy <laughs> thing, too. Like, we just had, like, we just had straight up beef, dude. She was, a, she was a senior. You were a freshman. Yeah, she just hated on you. Older, but, but yeah, we had beef, dude. You know what I mean? So I don't think I would see her at a high school reunion unless I went to the older high school re or younger high school reunion, whatever it was, you know, yeah. <laughs> whatever it is. I you, see who I need to see. Do you have any teachers that you remember yeah. for good or yeah, bad? Yeah, I had one of the hottest fucking math teachers ever. This lady, Miss Aluni, was so... I had her for math two years in a row. It was <laughs> sick. She was smoking hot. Good teacher, too. The only math classes I passed in high school. And then, uh, yeah, there were some other cool teachers. I had some cool ones. Yeah. I had some fucking asshole teachers, though. Yeah, yeah. It's ones you're like, too. what the? Fuck? Me too. Yeah. <laughs> Me too. It, it's crazy now. Like, I know people that are teachers now, and it's it's insane that they really just let anyone be a teacher, you know? Which I knew this as a child. I was very aware that, like, you're just a fucking per. I get there's, like, rules here and things like that, but, like, I had teachers coming in hungover, and I'm like, I know you get at There's no reason you should be sweating like this on a Tuesday morning in February. <laughs> you know what I mean? It's like, and not that there's anything wrong with that. That's your right to do that, but yeah, totally. now you see it in the point where it's like, I, you know, I, I've know people who were teachers and i'm like how in the fuck are you in charge of you're not even you can't even control your own life let alone be in the be the prime care responsibility for a child for eight hours a day that's not yours is insane yeah i feel like when i i always just viewed teachers as like having their and i think this is i don't think like this anymore but i back then i was like oh they're like responsible adults yeah. they got their shit together like we got to listen to them like their teachers like they know what's going on and then like which the good ones do yeah i think they were like good one they were pretty good teachers there were no teachers who were like 25 year old fuckheads so i was like how did this guy oh get i had here? i had i had a lot of those i had a lot yeah, of those. What, what's like i've never had i've never had a young i had like a teacher. dude who was like a fucking well the teacher i was telling you was smoking hot was like i mean she, she was like 24 or 25 she was 
she wasn't hot either as just being a teacher. Like, yeah, she was more hot because she was a teacher. But if you saw her on the street, you'd be like, Jesus fucking Christ. Um, but yeah, I had a couple teachers that were like, for, like they were like still in a fraternity. You know what I mean? Like still like frat dudes. You know what I mean? I, I, I had a fucking substitute teacher. I was hanging out with the night before. He was doing coke all night. I had no idea he was a fucking... I had no idea. I was with older people. I wasn't doing coke. I was drinking. But we never knew that... We just didn't... Anyways, I go into school the next day, and this guy's my teacher. And I'm like, dude, I was just with you like five hours ago. Like drinking <laughs> like in this kid's basement with like 15 people. And I'm like... And he's sitting there. He's the substitute teacher of this like photography class I had. And he's just like, just don't say anything. I'm like... I'm like and of course, I wasn't going to snitch. I was a good dude. But I'm like, oh, this guy was just doing coke and drinking Corona five hours ago. <laughs> and now he's like, here. I'm like, this is fucking... That's when I started to realize, I'm like, oh, anyone can do this, you know? Yeah. Like, substitute... I remember there was this one substitute teacher. Especially substitutes. Substitutes stand out. Because, yeah. like, you didn't have to deal with them for a whole year. and like You don't have to really respect them. <laughs> there was this one guy we had. They get no respect. Substitute <laughs> teachers. <laughs> people just shit on substitute <laughs> teachers, dude. <laughs> so, like, we had this one guy who was... He was a sub in, like, every class. He was, like, like one of the go-to go subs for the school. This dude named, he went by Mr. VB, and he did this thing where he did like a little demonstration when he'd get into class. He'd be like, what's up, guys? I'm your substitute. And he's like 60-year-old dude. He's like, I'm Mr. VB. And he did this whole like demonstration of like the letters and shit. And we're like, oh, yeah, this guy, like whatever. He's just like some nice old dude. He's trying to be nice yeah. to us. And like five years out of school, I see he's on these TikToks with like these influence. You know those girls who like go up to people at the beach and they're like, type who are like, how many how many bodies do you have? Or like, yeah, what's yeah, a yeah. big? And yes, they're like yeah, interviewing yeah. with their iPhone and some shit. He's it wasn't exactly that, but he was like in a sketch with one of those types of girls, and he's like he just he played like a creep. Yeah, he just yeah. played a creepy ass dude who like picked up this like twenty two year old yeah. girl and like it was like the weirdest fucking thing. We're like it's we're a great this guy. job to get into. Teaching is a amazing job to get into if you are a creep like if you're <laughs> it, it is it's a great job to have if you're like if if you these are the two best if you're a creep or if you weren't cool in high school and you want to go back and be really cool that's like a lot of the younger teachers i saw that's what it was where i'm like you're trying to act like you're in high school right now you know like i had uh, one teacher Again, wasn't even my fucking teacher and had a problem with me <laughs> getting involved in like high school politics shit. You know what I mean? And it's like, dude, mind your fucking business, you know? And like, I wanted to fight this guy. Honestly, I was like, so as a teacher, but why was this teacher? He never had he was a hitting on my girlfriend. And I was, I was like, yeah, I was like, you hit it on my fucking girlfriend. And he's like, well, oh, he, like, he, he tried telling me I was being wrong and disrespectful for accusing him of that and all that stuff. And I'm like, you're not going to sit here and make comments about me and how I behave. And then you do something inappropriate. And it was so obvious he was hitting on her. You know what I mean? And, uh, yeah, he got canned afterwards or whatever, but that's pretty much what it was. Why is it like that? There's always, I mean, I'm, the way I remember it, we had this one teacher. But I had awesome substitute teachers though too. I had dudes that were awesome. Oh yeah. They can be, you can like, there, we had this one guy and he always sub in like, I think he was like a music guy. He really wanted to be like a music teacher. That yeah. was like his vibe. He was super chill. And when he'd sub for like an English class, we'd just be like, we're not going to do shit today. Yeah. We love this oh, guy. Oh, yeah. yeah. He's yeah, the yeah. best. We're like, totally. oh, yeah, we're just going to watch a movie with this dude. Yeah. We could t I can tell, for now that I think about it, I feel like he was one of the realest ones. Yeah. He could tell he was like not doing that fake ass teacher shit where he's like, I don't know. There was like putting up some sort of front. He was just like a dude. He was just there. He's like, yeah, your real teacher's not here. He's like, fuck it. I'm here. He's like, Enjoy it. Yeah, yeah, Enjoy yeah, the yeah, day. Yeah. Those dudes are the best, dude. Those are good dudes. I definitely had more cool teachers than uncool ones, I would say. But I'm classifying in the teachers that were just like, blah. I had a lot of like boring teachers that were just like, this is a job I get a check from, you know? Yeah. Which sucks because Massachusetts <laughs> has like, and I know that's like the point, it's a job. But Massachusetts has like the best public schools and all that in the country. And I just went to a fucking blah one, you know? Yeah. You can tell when a person doesn't, you could tell, like, especially looking back now when you see, like, that behavior. Now you have 25 or whatever the fuck. You can see that, oh, yeah, that guy was, like, an actual creep. Like, we always just, like, oh, he's a creep, he's a creep, he's a creep. And then you, like, actually find out he is a fucking creep. You know what I mean? Like, obviously there's something weird, bro. Probably wasn't cool. Like, dude, a lot of dudes, I feel like, 
a lot of people in general, it's like high school is the highlight of their life, right? It just is for a lot of people. And luckily for me, it's not, you know, hopefully for you, it's not (laughs) too. Thank God. Great. Yeah, exactly. But for a lot of people, it is. If they stay in one place their whole life, it's a major, major part of their life, right? So if you go through it and it just didn't go well, we're like, honestly, for high school, it went pretty good for me. But like, if it went shitty, you just find something else. You move on with life. But some people never fucking move on. So I think a lot of people get into teaching and stuff because they want to like, go back and be cool you know what i mean well not a lot i shouldn't say a lot of teachers go back and do that a lot of people who think like that become teachers that makes sense yeah you know there's like it's just like an over-involved parent in a way it's it's like like, a parent who's like living vicariously through their kids it's the same thing yeah it's it's the different thing but it's similar thinking and stuff yeah you know yeah i mean like i've even ran into people who graduated like several years before me just out and about like back in my hometown and they're like oh yeah i went there too so blah 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 they're like did you have one guy at the gym he was like did you have this teacher and i was like yeah yeah she's my teacher right now and he's like he told me this story about like how one time she like he like said like a curse word or something as he was leaving class and she took one of those like not a coke can it was like a a bottle like a plastic bottle like soda or something and she threw it and it hit him in the nuts. For she, what? I don't know. Because she didn't like that. The guy, I feel like this guy had a lot more that he left out of the story. Yeah. And I was like, oh, okay, like, I don't, I don't know what the, like, deal is with that. But then, like, before I even got to high school, this same teacher, they were reading some story in class. And, like, in one of the scenes in the book, the, one of the characters, like, slapped another character in the face. And for some reason, she, to, like, really acted out this teacher slapped one of the students in the face hell yeah it was like the huge thing it was on cbs it was in the all the oh, newspaper give me a fucking break <laughs> give me a break give me a break <laughs> the guy at was acting he was probably like 15 years out of high school i don't know what the hell i would have lost <laughs> my shit dude <laughs> i feel like it would have been like, I don't. I wish I could have seen this. I just wish I could have been in the class. Yeah. Like, I didn't have as many of those types of moments. That I yeah. But yeah, but like, I feel like even in that moment where they were reading the book and the teacher was like, "Holy shit! What if she chose the book?" So she was like, "I might have a moment to smack." Yeah. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. I mean, we don't know. I don't know. We know about five percent of the story. So for all we know, <laughs> that might be the reason she did that. You know? Yeah. I don't blame her. I don't fucking blame her, honestly. F- fucking let him. Do- I don't. Ki- I don't have kids. You know what I mean. I know they're gonna be the future of the world. Or what? I don't give a shit. You know. So let him keep being crazy. You know. Let him. I- I'm all for kids just being fucking nuts. You know, being a kid was like the best. I remember when I, there was like times when I was a kid. I was like, this. I gotta do this homework. I got this test. This shit sucks. Yeah. I can't wait to be an adult and I don't have to do any of this. That's not even like how, that's like the, it was the easiest time. Literally the easiest time in the yeah, world. Yeah, of course. I literally, yeah, all I gave a shit about was like, God, am I going to, am I going to get to see Bryce Harper like make his debut? Like that's what I gave a shit about. I didn't care about like, I don't know. They're like, they're, I feel like there's too many like worries about like unnecessary shit going oh, on right now. I mean, like you to worry about things that like have nothing, zero effect on them. We just enjoy being a kid. Which is which is no different than a lot of people in society right now. A lot of people in society, a lot of things that are going on in the world, regardless of how terrible they are and should be speaking on, a lot of people let it control their life when it really doesn't have that much of an effect on their life. You know, like it, it just does. It's like, but n- that wasn't the case when you were, like at least when I was a child, like no one gave a shit about like, the election like remember when all those kids who weren't they like went to a school that got like shot up and then they like threw a protest for like trump or something and everyone's like oh we need to change the voting age to like 15 or whatever it's like I, <laughs> what school was that it was one of the like famous school sh- i mean there's been a billion of them now these kids another thing with kids <laughs> kids just love bringing guns to school these days dude like I, I knew kids that brought guns to school as a kid i did a couple of kids who brought guns to school and they just left it in their backpack and showed their friends you know they they, 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 they did they did there's a couple of kids I, I i went to school with that brought guns to school and they would just show you you know they didn't use it they were never going to use it now these kids go to school and turn the whole place into a fucking firing range you know what i mean but anyway, now they're all too self-entitled and they think they're way more important than they actually are they don't contribute to fucking society yeah i mean i i at least kind of acknowledge that adults knew 
Oh, more i was like yeah. okay they're like adults they they're did. like here like they're there are teachers they did. and i felt like I, I they were they were trustworthy and that's why i was like oh they seem like they i just assumed that they knew their shit and yeah. that it was all set and that everything was like dandy fine and dandy but it's like it's not they're like oh, they got, they're no. dealing with their own sh- they're dealing fuck with their own no. shit yeah like, yeah yeah no way it's not even it's not even close honestly you know it's not even close i just don't understand like why there was like walkouts in Massachusetts, like high school kids giving a shit about Paul, which is fine. Like we learned about politics in school when it was going on, but it's like, bro, what? Like you give a shit how much the pres, who the pres, you're 16 years old. Like it doesn't really matter who the president is for. You know what I mean? It's like nothing that you, I don't know, whatever. Kids are fucking dumb, stupid, but you know, I like them. I like when kids do stupid shit, you know, like I miss throwing eggs and breaking shit and stuff. So I like to see kids doing like that. But yeah, I don't know. What was, uh, I'm thinking about throwing eggs and shit now. Oh, so fun. Dude, what was, uh, what was Halloween like when you were, it was when I was a kid, it was like, when I was a kid, it was like pretty wild. Like when I remember when I was young, it was like, I mean, kids were just going around beating the shit out of each other. Like, I remember, like, one Halloween, I was, no like... No trick-or-treating? No, there was trick-or-treating. Like, what, there was, like, trick-or-treating <laughs> with my parents, right? I remember one time I went, like, trick-or-treating with my mom. I was young. I was, like, eight or nine. And she, like, was bringing my sister home. She, like, went in. So she's, like, do you want to keep trick-or-treating with your friends? And I'm, like, yeah. And I knew everyone... I wanted to because I knew everyone was, like, throwing eggs at shit. Just raising hell. And I remember, like, going out there and, like... <laughs> Kids from other neighborhoods were just coming and beating the shit out of each other. Like, cause kids started throwing eggs at each other and stuff. And like, but it was so fuck. That was one of the funnest, uh, it was 2003, I think. I remember the house I was living in, but, um, it was so fucking fun. And then, yeah, then there's a lot of that shit and stuff. The usual, typical, nothing like so much different than what you see on television. Just, ha- just Halloween shit. Yeah. I remember that my buddy brought, he brought a carton of eggs and we were we were like jogging from like house to house and he tripped over some shit and he fell on the eggs and cracked <laughs> all of them yeah it's part of it baby <laughs> friendly fire dude friendly fire oh man it happens i miss that shit oh yeah i, st- I was thinking about it the other day I, I took a picture i one of my buddies we used to just egg houses all the time like not even just at halloween like we spent an entire summer one time going out every night fucking just fucking covering shit in eggs and <laughs> the other night i sent him a picture just the i was making breakfast i saw the eggs and i was just like dude if i was 15 i'd be with josh right now throwing fucking bro we used to pack up me my buddy josh my buddy george my buddy aj it was four of us we would go out and just terrorize neighborhoods dude like get like fucking like four dozen eggs and just fucking just be throwing them at cars throwing them at fun. it was so fun dude <laughs> So Not fun. a single omelet was made. With no, any of those hell eggs. no, hell no. I didn't even eat eggs back then. You know, it was just we would just fucking launch them at shit. It was so funny. I loved, I loved it, dude. Oh, at my wow. house, got got. I never took anyone's house out at high school. It was bullshit. Like, I never egged anyone's house. Who I like, the people I did, I did it to people that deserved it. Don't get me wrong. There's a couple people that got it who deserved it. But I remember when my house got got like. It got shitty, though. They didn't even get the windows or anything. It was, like, barely anything. Like, I had, like, a brick house. They got, like, the bottom of it. It was, like, wiped away. And I remember staking out the house. I'm, like, I remember my mother was, like, this is not happening at my house. She's, like, figure out who fucking did this. We're going to find out. Me and my buddies waited in my mom's car one night. I had, like, a golf club. I was, like, I was going to kill whoever it was. I never found out who it was. That haunted me. But it, they only did it because they knew I was out there getting after it. You know what I mean? <laughs> yeah, I, we were, couldn't let you just keep going without... That but I never, egged, there was no one who would have done that to me where I, I fucked with any of their personal shit. That's why I was pissed about it. You know, they just knew I was out there getting after it. <laughs> when you said my house got got, it sounded was, like they bro, shot up the place. Bro, I was pissed. No, it's through like three eggs, dude. I was <laughs> fucking heated, dude. I was so pissed. I was like, I, I would have done anything to know who did it. Just because it's like, I wouldn't have done anything like crazy physical, but I would, I would have made sure their shit got fucking destroyed. Like what? What type of sh- what, like if some? If I would have found out. I would have want. I would have found out when they. I would have thrown eggs at their car while they were driving. I would have found out where they if they were someone who drove. If not, I would have just ran up on them and just thrown eggs at them. Is what I would have done. <laughs> what about like house parties and stuff? We I loved that. house parties. Dude. What were they? What were they like? 
at your school? We had some we had some wild ones, dude. You know, I went to school in like a pretty nice town, so like people people had like big houses and stuff. You know what I mean? So it, there was some pretty sick house parties. You know? Yeah, there was one that this house. Yeah, what's a California yeah, high school? Are you at like <laughs> mansions and like some celebrity comes by? There's some cool. There's some cool houses. There's some sick spots. I can only imagine. Yeah, people have some like sick houses. Wait, you go to school again, like Malibu or something? Malibu High. Yeah, Malibu High. That's yeah, sick. Doesn't it sound like there's a movie? It sounds fake. It sounds like, like a, Bobby went there, dude. There was like a movie. I wanna. I wanna make the modern rendition of Malibu High. Mm -hmm. There's like a 19. There's like a 70s movie, and I don't think it really, really? encapsulates what like my my yes. experience was there. I I loved it. It was it was it was a it was a good school, but like it was also a fun school. Like sure. I, the guy, the, the character, like I remember that. I laughed about that with my friends. Yeah, like, yeah, all yeah, this yeah. shit. Oh, like hundred percent. It was one of those types of experiences for like, oh man, I I, I like hope I can run into somebody yeah, randomly yeah, yeah. and be like, yes. yeah, no, like they were like the people who sacrificed class time and teachers' attention for us to have a legends. Good, literally the best. I'm like, I I'm so glad I don't. Maybe remember that's what, what we need to start getting on the podcast. Just shit because this is two weeks in a row. I've been talking about this. We might have to add a call in segment where we just talk to shitheads we went to high school with. We, <laughs> yes. we might have to. We might have to do that. I'm gonna. That's my next tech endeavor. Yeah, yeah, to learn how to we connect should, the we phone. We'll talk about that, but we should maybe do that. You know? Oh, totally. Because be it really is like some of the funniest shit. I didn't, so I didn't go to a high school reunion. My buddy had a big party like a couple of years ago on Thanksgiving where it was practically a high school reunion. Like he just had everyone, all of our like very, very close friends, like not even, not even close, but just all of them was friends with like 20 people and how hard we laughed that night just at bullshit we did when we were in like ninth <laughs> and 10th grade was like, and it was all juvenile bullshit. You know what I mean? It's still so funny as an adult. That oh, shit yeah. doesn't really happen Totally. Anymore. I was like my buddy who visited a couple of months ago in New York. We were just like, we were just having a couple of beers and we were just laughing about the stuff that someone else did during football practice. We're like, mm -hmm. the way this guy talked to the coaches and like the, the other team, like the, his teammates and shit, we're like, if we didn't have that guy on our team, he was like hurt for a lot of games. Yeah. Like he missed a lot of shit. We're like, if he wasn't there, it would have sucked way more. It would have, it would have been. It would have been like we probably wouldn't even be talking about yeah. that season. No, yeah. Or like literally his presence alone. There's this thing like like the the parties you were talking about. We do this thing on the fourth of July, and it's like a big thing where like we all go to this beach called Little Doom, or at least we did in high school and like a couple years after graduating. And it was just a huge fourth of July party where it was like Malibu kids from Malibu High, and then like kids would come from like the neighboring like areas or whatever like the other high schools and stuff and then just brawls would break yeah, out yeah, it was yeah, the yeah, best yeah. it was yeah. literally all these people got like so hammered yeah and like it's just like classic fourth of july shit but like these fights that would break out it was some sometimes you would see a kid that you went to like i went to i would see a kid i went to high school with and i would be like thank god he picked a fight with the wrong guy and just got his shit oh yeah yeah yeah, yeah. yeah. he got knocked out there were there's some videos that like there's some photos I still think about till this day where like someone's being dragged off the beach by their <laughs> friends. Like there was this one guy who we like, we were buddies in middle school and we played baseball and stuff. And then like in high school, we had some beef and like I got in a fight with another guy at baseball practice over some stupid shit. And this one dude came from the side and sucker punched me in like the head. He didn't get a good hit. He yeah. didn't do anything. I stood my ground. But then, like, that summer after, we were at that little Doom 4th of July party, and he picked a fight with the dude who was Fuck yeah. training to be an MMA fighter. Like, nice. legit. The guy still does MMA till this day. He's, like, an upcoming, nice. like, pro-am kind of, like. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He absolutely destroyed this kid. Sure. And I was, like, this is, like, it was perfect. I was, like, I, he did this cheap-ass, weak yeah, soccer punch yeah. four years ago. Or no, it was like the same year, honestly, four years. It was the same year. And then he got knocked the fuck out at the beach. Yeah. It was perfect. Yeah. It couldn't have been better. Like that was, if there was a script <laughs> for the universe. Yes. It was an Oscar award. It's a real script. thing. Calm is a real thing. You know, that shit is real. You know, it, it, it always comes around. Whether good, bad, okay, awkward, whatever the fuck, that shit always comes around. Yeah. There's another, there was another, another fight. It was this dude who he went on to play football at a, at a Pac-12 school, RIP Pac-12. Yes. In high school, he picked a fight. This guy was, by the way, like a 6'4 D lineman. 
big dude, like interior defensive lineman. Yeah. Big, like 300 pound motherfucker. And he picked a fight with a dude who was probably five, six. In the video, the guy's like looking up at him. This five, six dude absolutely knocked this dude out with a left hook. It was like that. It was what like, in a, car, it was like in a cartoon it. where the guy falls over uh. and his arm is like, is, or like when a guy gets concussed in football and he's like lying there and you can tell his arm is like limp. Oh my God. It was unbelievable. He knew how to fight like the small kid. Oh yeah, totally. Yeah. Yeah. And that, that shit went downhill for that big ass dude. Yeah. The video will live on in infamy. Yeah. It's yeah, one yeah. of the best knockouts I've probably ever seen just out Good. and about. Learning a lesson. Yeah.